Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video we're going to be swapping the, um, well, the Nav 6 from BMW, which fits on the, uh, the mount with a Garmin Zumo XT. So here's the uh, Nav 6, and here is the XT. Side by side. Um, I have the Zumo installed on another bike, so I ended up buying this part here. So I can move the Zumo between two different um, bikes. So that kit is here with this and with this. And then uh, the guys in Italy sent me this. Well, I paid for it. Uh, plus this, which is the locking mechanism. And then these bolts. Um, so let's get into it and figure out what we gotta do next. They give you a little tiny uh, silver screw. You need a jeweler screwdriver to do this. Uh, and that is allowing this piece to get installed into the Zumo XT uh, bracket that comes with your Garmin. Now we're going to use the um, the bolt kit that comes with your Garmin to uh, install um, this here onto this back right here. Now I have an issue with clearance, which if you look here, you can see these extend beyond the body, which means it doesn't mount in properly. So what I did was, and these are the screws that came with the Zumo XT OEM mount. Um, and so for me, I think these are different screws than what the Italian guys had. For me, I added some spacers, just a small spacer, uh, and that allows this to get tightened down without going past that flush line right there. So doing that to all four and using Loctite. All right, that's flush. And now we have this um, security kit to install right here. Uh, I'm using a 1.5 hex to get these two out right here. All right, now that those are out, we're going to transfer them from here over to right here, and then uh, you reuse the OEM backing plate. And if you torque this down too much, it won't slide, so you want to have enough there where you can push and pull it. I mean, not too loose, not too tight either. Uh, so now we have our mount here. This should <laughs> drop right into place like that. You'll see the back contact points drop in right there. Push this. Oops, we need to uh, make sure that's out. Drop there, push in. That locks into place. You'll see your red thing there appear and then disappear. And then you can lock this right just like that. Yep, that works. And you can turn the key just like that. So what's happening is this button is the release button for the Zumo XT. So with this in place, you can't click the button. So it's just like the OEM lock where now you can click the button with it closed, you can't. Let's lock in the Zumo. I actually found it was easier to just put it on like this and then mount it in. And we're done. Look at that. So uh, everything went fine. So the slider slid back into place fine. The key locked fine. So now this can't be able to be removed. Even if someone could get their finger back there, which is kind of a challenge, um, they... You know, with enough force, everything's breakable. I mean, these motorcycles, you can take them apart with a, a torque set. So it's not a big, you know, it's not a, nothing is 100% secure on a bike. But um, yeah, this is, it works. So obviously I lose wonder wheel functionality. You'll notice that if you're a TFT owner, the, um, the nav icon has gone away. It no longer detects the nav six or any nav, um, even though there's a lot the same. I turned the bike on and started right up. Um, yeah, I'm excited to use this. Brand new. Now, one thing you might not like is that it does put it a little bit farther out than the um, than the Nav 6. Uh, whereas on Heather's bike, which she now has my Nav 6, you can see how it sits further back. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So let's see how it holds up off-road. But uh, that is the install video with the... Um, 3D Motorrad Nav XT mount with the theft protection. Uh, left over, I've got some bolts here. So I've got five of these guys, which I guess I, I guess I could have used instead of the spacers. Oops. Um, I also have this OEM piece. I'll put all this in a baggie and put it back in the Garmin box for uh, next time. All right, guys, take care. Ride safe, and uh, thanks for watching.